Hello everyone, in this video let us talk about bitwise operators. Now next coming to the next operator that is a bitwise complement. Okay? So for complement we have to use this symbol. This is called as a tilde symbol. Okay? We have to use a tilde symbol for bitwise complement. Okay? So how to perform complement operation means C tilde of 4 suppose I want to perform complement operation for 4. So, here we have to follow some rules ok. Generally this 4 is an integer number right. So, if you want to place an integer number that means integer numbers are if you want to store in the memory ok. In the memory this integer representation will be in a 32, 32 bit format in 32 bits or 64 bits or 128 bits like this we have to store like this the integer representation will be there in the memory ok. So, we have to represent for complement we have to represent 4 as a 32 bit representation ok. So, if you want to represent 4 as a 32 bit representation we have to follow some rules ok. So, what are those means? most significant bit MSB. What is meant by most significant bit? That means the leftmost bit, leftmost bit. So, this most significant bit out of this 32 bit representation the left leftmost bit ok that will be act as a sign bit ok that represents a sign bit in a 32 bit representation ok. Next here in this sign beta if it is a 0 if the leftmost bit that is most representation uh, most significant bit if that is a 0 then it represents a positive sign if the leftmost bit is 1 ok that means the most significant bit is if it is 1 then it represents a negative sign ok. So, if it is a positive these values will be stored directly in the memory. These values will be stored directly in the memory. Suppose uh, uh, if it is a positive number, these values will be represented directly in the memory. If it is a negative number, okay, if it is a negative number, uh, then these negative numbers will be represented as a 2's complement. Then uh, these negative numbers will be represented as a 2's complement. So, what is meant by 2's complement? It is nothing but 2's complement is 1's complement plus 1. 1's complement plus 1 is a 2's complement. So, what is 1's complement? 1's complement is nothing but if it is 1, if the bit is 1, 1's complement for 1 is 0. If the bit is a 0, 1's complement for 0 is 1. Okay, just you have to interchange 0 to 1's and 1's to 0's that is 1's complement. If you want to get a 2's complement again for this 1's complement representation you have to add 1 then you will get the result in 2's complement ok. So, see here always the integers will be represented in the memory locations as a 32 bit format ok. So, out of those 32 bits the leftmost significant bit is always a sign it always represents a sign. If it is a 0, if that bit is 0, it represents a positive. If that bit is 1, it represents negative. If uh, the bit is a 0 means, uh, those, uh, that means uh, the, those are uh, directly, those are represented directly in the memory. Okay. If the bit is a 1, that means the uh, positive numbers will be directly represented in the memory locations and negative number means uh, those are represented as a 2's complement. Ok. How to perform 2's complement, 1's complement plus 1. Ok. So, see here I want, I am going to explain a, with an example so that you will get a clear idea on this complement operation. So, complement of 4, 4 means 1 0 0 right. The binary representation for 4 is 1 0 0, but uh, these are only 3 bits, it is not sufficient for me. I have to represent in a 32 bit format. So, that means uh, all the remaining bits are all zeros, right? Ok. Here, this is 4. 
how to perform complement operation on 4 complement of 4 means 0 for 0 you have to represent 1 for 1 you have to represent 0 ok so complement of 4 means 1 1 1 1 1 like that 1 0 1 1 here for 1 it is 0 ok so here if most significant bit that means leftmost bit if it is 1 means if it is 1 means it is treated as negative right the leftmost bit is 1 it is treated as negative so you have to represent two's complement to this one okay you have to represent two's complement for this number so how to represent two's complement first you have to represent one's complement and then you have to perform one so one's complement first you have to perform on this uh, bits okay so one's complement means just convert ones to zeros and zeros to one so all this will be converted into zeros okay and next this is 1 is 0 again this one is 1 0 0 right now you have to perform uh, this is one's complement but i want to represent in two's complement so you have to perform again you have to perform for this one's complement plus one is two's complement right so again you have to perform one for this one you have to add one to these bits so one zero one zero 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 okay so here so here see 2 power 0 2 power 1 2 square like that so that means 2 square means 4 plus 0 plus 1 that is 5 that means uh, here see if uh, the sign bit is if the sign bit is 1 then the result will be negative okay if the sign bit is 1 the result will be always in the negative after performing complementation for the uh, given number if the sign bit is uh, 1 then the result will be negative right so you have to represent the result in the negative and here what we are doing we are performing we are converting this uh, 1 to we are performing for complementation what we are doing we are changing 1s to zeros okay and next that means that is 1s complement we are performing and then we are representing again a plus 1 so that you will get the 2s complement so as here the sign bit is a 1 the result should be in negative so that's why i have included minus before the 5 so the complement for 4 is 5 okay like this we have to perform complement operation okay so see here again once again i am going to repeat this one so here for bitwise complement always we have to represent uh, for integer representation we have to represent 32 bit format okay in the memory locations so for complement operation you have to take a 32 bit representation for an integer so here we have to follow some rules for representing a 32 bit format so what is that one means here the most significant bit that is the leftmost bit will always represent a sign it is called as a sign bit if the sign bit can be either 0 or 1 okay so if it is a 0 means it represents a positive sign okay it represents a positive number so positive numbers means this will be directly represented in the memory locations suppose if it is a negative number how you can uh, say it is a negative number if it is one if the bit is if the leftmost bit is one then it represents a negative number if it is a negative number you have to represent them in a two's complement form that means two's complement is nothing but one's complement for plus one okay so how to perform one's complement on bits uh, if it is one the output is zero the one's complement for one is zero and the one's complement for zero is one okay one is zero and zero is one so to this if you plus if you if you add one then you will get a two's complement okay so here i have taken an example for four so for four i have to represent here as a 32 bit representation for four this is the 32 bit representation for four now i want to perform complement on that four okay so complementation means nothing but you have to interchange zeros to one and ones to zeros okay 
So, 0 to 1 all this become 1 and here 1 0 1 1 ok. So, here I got the leftmost bit after performing complementation the leftmost bit is uh, the most significant bit is 1 that means it represent a negative number. If it is a negative number I want to perform 2's complement on that uh, bits ok. I have to perform 2's co complement on those bits. So, 2's complement means first I have performed 1's complement here ok 1's complement uh, again on that 1's complement I am going to perform I am going to add plus 1. If you uh, if you perform 1's complement and if you add 1 to that 1's complement bits uh, then you will get a 2's complement right. So, this is my 2's complement representation for 4 ok for complement of 4 this is the uh, this is the 2's complement representation ok. So, after converting that representation into bind into decimal I got 5. But here the sign bit after performing the complementation the most significant bit the sign bit is 1 that means it represents a negative number that is why I have included minus 5 to that output ok. So, that is about a bitwise complement. So, next coming to left shift operation. So, this is the left shift operator. So, here see suppose for example, I have the data like this 1 0 0 1 0 suppose for example, ok. Consider these are my bits, ok. I am going to this is my x number of bits. For this x number of bits, I am going to perform left shift of 2. Okay. Then what happens means the leftmost 2 bits will be removed and on the right 2 empty cells will be formed okay. and this uh, and uh, these uh, 2 empty uh, cells will be filled with the zeros. That is the meaning of x left shift of 2. That means towards the leftmost 2 bits will be removed and on the right side 2 empty cells are formed and in those 2 empty cells that will be filled with those 2 empty cells will be filled with zeros. Okay? Now, I want to convert this into decimal form that is the output for x left shift of 2. Okay? So, let me explain with an example for example, 4 left shift of 2. Okay? So, 4 means C, 4 means 1, 0, 0 and all the remaining bits are 0. If you represent 32 bit format also all the remaining bits will be 0, right. So, here I am saying x 4 left shift of 2 that means last 2 bits the, sorry the first 2 bits will be removed and at last you will get 2 empty cells which are filled with 0. Okay? So, now I want to convert this into decimal format which is our output. right? So, see how to convert this into decimal form 2 power 0, 2 power 1, 2 square, 2 cube, 2 power 4 and everything is 0 now. So, you can neglect all this. So, 2 power 4 into 1, 2 power 4 means 16, 16 into 1 is 16 and all the bits are zeros. So, the output is 16. So, if you perform 4 left shift of 2, the output is 16. So, like this we have to, uh, we have to do left shift operation. Just you have to remove leftmost bits and you have to perform empty cells in the right towards the rightmost and just fill those empty cells with zeros. Okay? So, that is the meaning for left shift. So, next coming to the last one that is right shift. So, here suppose for example, 4 right shift of 2. Okay? So, 4 means 1, 0, 0. So, all the remaining bits will be 0. Right? Here, I am saying 4 right shift of 2. Right shift of 2. 
so as it is a right shift right most elements right most two elements will be removed and towards the left you will get two empty cells okay so as the leftmost bits will all be always represent sign as leftmost bits will always represent sign okay so if the number which you have taken if it is a positive number then these two bits will be represented with zero okay if the number which you have taken here is a negative number these two bits will be represented with one as four is a positive number these two bits are represented with zero okay now i want to convert this to decimal okay that will be my output so two power zero two power one two square so all these are zeros you can neglect all these so two power zero into one that is two power anything power zero is one one into one is one so four right shift of two is one so like this we have to perform right shift operation now let me show the execution so first coming to bitwise complement hash include stdio dot h int main so here i am taking a single variable a and i am assigning a value of 4 so here i am going to find out the fourth complement okay so now printf as it is an integer variable the format specifier should be percentage d slash n so it is the new line escape sequence comma complement of a i want to find the fourth complement okay so return zero so this is my code okay now let me run the code as force complement is minus five i should get minus five as an output so see here minus five is my output so next to coming to left shift so here a left shift of two here i am directly taking two or otherwise you can assign another variable b and you can assign a value of two you can declare another variable b and you can assign a value of two and you can find the uh, right shift right, uh, sorry left shift of two here i have directly taken the value two a left shift of 2 okay so here i should get 16 as an output right now let me run the code for left shift of 2 should be 16 so see here i got 16 as an output similarly i want to find right shift so here use right shift operator so for right shift of 2 that means i should get 1 as an output let me run the code so see here one is my output so these are the various bitwise operators so in the previous video i have explained about bitwise and bitwise or and bitwise exclusive or in this video we have seen about complement uh, left shift and right shift so these are the various bitwise operators in c language Thank you.